introducing Barry Arnott, founder name DSIG. DSIG have developed a software product that brings together industrial IoT, AI, big data, and cloud computing into a flexible data solution with authenticated access and end-to-end -end protection. Hello, my name is Barry Arnott. I'm here today to introduce my company, DSIG. DSIG develops software to protect industrial data from cyber attacks. It does this by the use of strong cryptographic algorithms and the use of cryptographic hardware devices. DSIG's aim is to re reduce the cyber attack points available to the hacker. What I'm looking for today are introductions to manufacturing companies to trial the software during Q2 and Q3 of this year. Cyber attacks are increasing at an alarming rate, and according to IBM, the third most likely attack area is industry. There are attacks on industrial control systems, the theft of intellectual property, and the gathering of sensitive process data. DSIG makes use of cryptographic algorithms to protect sensitive data from endpoint to endpoint. Cryptographic algorithms such as encryption and digital signatures keep data secure and make sure that it can be trusted. Current cryptographic algorithms should have been usable until 2035, but with the advent of uh, quantum computers, they will need to be retired earlier. The National Institute for Science and Technology, NIST, in the States, are developing new quantum secure algorithms, and DSIG will move over to these when they become available. DSIG takes its name from one of these algorithms, digital signatures. Digital signatures are created by combining data and some secret information known as a private key, and the private key is held within a cryptographic hardware device. It's unique and can't be copied. The usefulness of digital signatures is that any change to the data will, will create a different signature. And so the, the recipient of this data will be able to detect whether it's been changed. The interesting thing about digital signatures is that a change in the data will create a completely different signature. I want to give an example of potential cyber attacks on industry. Earlier in my career, I implemented a, an information system in a large chemical production area. This brought data from chemical plants to the centralized computer using fiber optic cables, which ran over pipe bridges and under roads. Today, I would install a private 5G network as this would be cheaper, more flexible, and allow the collection of data from remote uh, locations, for example, air quality data. Now, while 5G has excellent data security SIM to SIM, it does have gaps there are two possible ways to implement this. One is to send the data directly from the devices uh, on the left from, from the chemical works to the cloud and run the information system in the cloud. The second way would be to run the information system in a private 5G network inside a server, an application server in the network called the MEC. This has some advantages because it gives you a faster response time and means data, a control data can be passed back out, for example, to switch off electrical power supplies, that type of thing. All of the data endpoints shown here in red are the cyber attack points. These are the places where we need to protect the data. DSIG's solution is to perform all sensitive data processing within cryptographic hardware devices. At all other times the data is protected using encryption and digital signatures. DSIG provides an endpoint to endpoint security solution. Most other solutions on the market are point to point. It makes extensive use of cryptographic coprocessors for protecting the data and the cryptographic keys. It employs cryptographic coprocess throughout the product and it has an inbuilt certification authority which makes the installation and management of the system much easier. This is DSIG's roadmap for 2022. I'm pleased to announce that we've just been awarded the Proof of Concept grant by Worcestershire County Council and this will help us to launch the product during Q1. In addition, during Q1, we've been given access to the Worcestershire 5G testbed, where we'll be testing the product. After that, I'm looking for customer trials. Any introductions you have, I'll be pleased to hear them. I much appreciate that. And uh, towards the end of the year, we're looking at seed funding. Finally, I'd like to mention Betaden. It's been a fantastic program. I'd like to thank Linda, her team, and the mentors for helping me to get DSIG to this point. I'd also like to thank the cohort members for giving me the opportunity to work with them on bids and for future opportunities. Thank you very much for listening. My name is Barry Arnott. I'm the CTO and founder of DSIG.